Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. And this is the keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. So when I think of fairness and balance with respect to the mind, it's really the ability to uh, consider both sides of a discussion, to consider opposing um, opinions. Not all, we all don't have the same opinion. We don't have the same thinking on many different areas, but there's a sense of being fair and listening to two sides of an argument that when you're able to do that, you know, you are uh, feeding into your processes uh, both sides and it's going to give you ample information for you to be able to find where you sit, to, to determine your opinion, to determine an outcome, to reach decisions. When you can incorporate fairness and balance within uh, how you, daily, you approach things on a daily basis, then, you know, it's very helpful, very rewarding, and, you know, people notice the folks that are fair and often want to work with those kind of folks on a team or want to have them around is the ones that approach things without judgment and approaching things without angst or a hidden agenda. So fairness and balance and, um, you know, uh, with respect to balance, I think sometimes if, you know, if you're, if you have liberal political leanings, that maybe it's a good idea to listen to the conservative talk shows for a bit and to just see what they're saying. You may not want to do that, but it's informative. You know, uh, when you're able to approach things from two sides and to look at it without, fla you know, without flavoring it or without you know, really kind of negating the other side, you know, then you're going to be a much better informed, uh, you know, husband, wife, worker, you know, a clergyman, any of those modalities, any of those things. So fairness and balance with your mind. It also involves probably reading uh, lots of sources of information and not just sticking to one, just not reading the internet, but reading books, reading newspapers, reading professional journals, keeping yourself aware of what's happening in the, in, in the world, in your community, will help you stay fair, stay balanced, will help your mind, you know, look at things from a uh, clear and, um, you know, fair ap approach. Okay, the keeper of the scales. Treat people fairly. Look at both sides of an issue. Try to keep your personal judgment out. Okay, so spiritual self. You know, spiritual self includes our subconscious, our intuition, our um, instinct, our feelings, our emotions. So let's get a sense of what energies messages can we receive from the source to aid and to help our spiritual self to aid and to help spiritual self vulnerability vulnerability this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So take a look at that card. One of the truer things that I've read is that, you know, people perceive vulnerability as a weakness 
or as a negative aspect. And when you are able to be vulnerable and when you, are allow, when you allow others to see that you are vulnerable, which means that you are able to be hurt, that you are able to feel the sadness that, um, you know, that you're scared, that you have fear, that you have anxiety. When you keep holding that in, when you're trying to put on that brave front or to be the tough guy or the tough gal and saying, I don't need help, I'm good. After a while, you know, all of that tightness and keeping it in builds up and it builds more stress and it builds more blockages. And we're trying to release the, the negative energies. We're trying to let go of the things that don't help us today of you know of holding on to things from the past and that doesn't help us when we're trying to deal with the present so with vulnerability for next week what you know how can you reveal yourself how could you um, let someone know perhaps if you're feeling down or if you're feeling not your normal self how could you let someone know in a gentle and gentle way that you know they're going to be receptive to help help you and i'm sure that they would be but vulnerability means just i think letting down that false front for a moment or two so that you can let people see in you know we're humans we're not perfect we have uh, the good moments and we have the challenging moments and we have the, the you know, we, we've somehow created that we have to have this perfect image and that we're strong and we can do it all and nothing gets through us. Well, you know, we're vulnerable. Things hurt. Our skin bleeds. You know, we cry. So allow your, yourself and your spirit to feel vulnerable and don't be... Uh, don't let that stop you. Uh, you know, don't, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say don't create that false front that is like, you know, I got this. I don't, I don't need any help right now. I'm good. But it really, it's the fear of people seeing you for who you are. And perhaps there's a fear of not, of, of that people are not going to like you and, and people will like you and people will respect you when you are upfront and open with your vulnerability. And, you know, way, I'm just thinking of, of practical ways that could help shed light with that. And that could be something as going to, you know, if, if the alcohol is an issue, it's going to AA and discussing your life and your challenges. Perhaps it's going to a weekly prayer session at the church or a self-help group or if it's uh, related to divorce or widows you know there are organizations and others who feel as you do and if you're able to share some of that then that can be very beneficial to your heart and to your soul to everything okay so let's go to let's look at the body and our body is, you know, every, every neuron, every muscle, every tendon, blood flowing, everything within us, our organs, all dictated by our brain of what we do. So let's get a sense of, of a practice or something to focus on next week that can help our body, our mind, our spirit find connection. Use your natural healing abilities. Guide, encourage, and support healing work. So, your natural healing abilities. Well, I think under natural healing abilities, that applies to getting rest 
having rest, eating a healthy diet. You know, your body cannot heal itself if you don't give it the vitamins or the nutrients or the rest or the water that it needs, the hydration. So also it's, it's using your natural ability relies on you on keeping your spiritual self together and keeping your mind active and engaged because all of these things are going to help you heal whatever hurts you may have, whatever hopes you may have, but it's a sense of, of recovery. And rest is a really important piece of recovering and of re restoration and of rejuvenation. So using your natural healing abilities, and sometimes it's just as simple as having some green tea and some honey and using things from nature to try to help, to help um, heal whatever is ailing you. In our society, particularly in the U.S., you know, it's um, here's a pill to handle that. Here's the pill to help you with your cholesterol. The statin will, will improve your numbers dramatically. Bye-bye. What's the underlying issue? The underlying issue is to eat healthy and to exercise. Now, sometimes you can't do things because of genetics, but, you know, when you start from a natural perspective with your body first of putting in plant-based foods and, and organically grown foods and things that you can do that will help you, then that's a start. But really, to me, it's this using your natural healing abilities is all incorporated with your mind and your spirit and your mindset, as well as the taking, taking care of business part which is your, you know, your rest, your diet, your laughter, your joy with others, your, um, you know, exercise. You've got to put in your part for your body to heal. You know, you have to do your part. So if you're not taking care of your body, if you're smoking a pack a day, if you're drinking a drinking a half a bottle a day, then, you know, you are making it more challenging for your body to heal. You're making it more challenging for uh, everything to work in your favor. You know, ultimately, when we cut our finger, we put a little, we wash it, maybe we put a little Neosporin on it, we put a Band-Aid on it, and then the skin, you know, heals, ultimately heals. And so that's the beauty of our species is that we do have some natural healing abilities. So just, you know, do your, do your groundwork so that the body can do its thing. Okay, so now let's look at a theme or a general guiding light, a guiding perspective to think about for next week as you're thinking about being fair, as you're thinking about letting your vulnerable side show. And as you're putting together your best body so that it can heal itself. Okay. Okay, that one wanted to come out. The source. So this illustration, and by the way, this is the Osho Zen Oracle. This was the John Holland um, spirit messages, and this is the Doreen Virtue healing. I'll put links in the description of the video. The source. Well, the source from a first glance is the sun beaming down and radiating on us, you know, bringing us life, bringing us vitality, bringing us the energy to create, to move, to think, to feel, to love. So connecting with source, your divine source, whatever that may be, whatever deity that you pray to, you know, we, there is a divine source that, that we look to for guidance, that we look to for love and uh, support and trust and belief. So for the week of the ninth, next week, I would say, you know, try to... Um, Sit down and meditate, perhaps. Sit down and 
be thankful, you know, divine source to have an affirmation. Thank you so much for giving me the life that I have, the health, the material possessions that, you know, a roof over my head, food on the table. But be appreciative of, of source because source is there. It provides us with strength, provides us with um, really our life, our life in, um, on this planet. Okay, and then finally, I think it would be helpful to have something to practice, you know, put something in practice. In addition to these other aspects of connecting and finding balance between your mind, body, spirit, this is the Soul Purpose Oracle. Soul Purpose Journey, perhaps, I think. So let's get a sense of what we can practice for, practice on, with respect to our well being for the week of the 9th through 15th. Freedom, I possess the power and the free will to create my happiness. So true. Freedom, we all have freedom to choose the path that we wanna walk. We all have that freedom to pursue the knowledge that we, that we want to incorporate into our life, to where we want to be engaged. We have the freedom to look at things through a positive lens or, you know, are you going to choose to look through things with a negative view or a, a downer type of view? These are the choices that we face every day. So you choose, you know, we are free to choose and your day is made up of how and the, the choices that you make, the desires that you have. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, you know, and it's the old expression, happiness is an inside job. Happiness is a result of all of these things functioning together. And, you know, if you're in a position now where you're not happy, it's hard to go from low to really high to say, I'm joyous, and it's not realistic. So each day, find something, a little piece, just to move the scale, just a nudge, that's going to get you to a better place where you can use your power. And if that means going for a walk or sitting outside or having your a cup of ice, you know, a glass of iced tea outside and you're able just to think for five minutes, it's up to you to start to walk back up that scale from feeling here to trying to get back up. So, uh, and it's, I would say that, um, you know, people are there to help. People, if you are here, and it's, you're having a hard time, there are people willing to help, there are organizations willing to help, and that's going to um, rely on you being vulnerable enough to ask for help and to not be afraid to say, I, I'm, I'm faltering here, I need a little bit of an assist. But freedom, you know, we're fortunate to have our freedom um, well, where, where I live in the United States. We're fortunate to have freedom of speech because it's not a given. And so we need to take a moment to reflect and to appreciate that. So um, the power to create your own life. Something next week, do something that's going to affirm your power, that you're making choices that are going to make you happy. So I think this is a wonderful spread for next week of being fair, of allowing yourself to be vulnerable, to take care of the ground level so that your body can heal itself, to be grateful for and appreciative and to acknowledge and to recognize our source, our life source, really, and to appreciate and to practice freedom. What does that mean to you? How do you do that? How do you use your power to create your, your freedom? Well, you have to use your mind to think about what what it is that you want. You need to listen to your intuition. 
and hopefully your body will put you in a position to be able to carry out whatever desires you have. So I hope you have a wonderful week next week, full of good things, of, of wonderful experiences, and um, a lot of laughter, a lot of smiles. And if you enjoyed this type of reading, please let me know. And I can do this on a, every Sunday and just put something up and use my oracle cards. You know, I like to use, I don't use these that often. I use them in my monthly readings. And so I want to try to incorporate using them because um, I just like to use, use what I have. Otherwise, I, I would give it away. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. That's a great way to show support, and I appreciate it greatly. And I hope you'll check back again and check out some other videos on this channel.